Hello ladies and gentlemen, and welcome back to PA's Perpetual Testing. Today we're looking at The Blue Stuff Beta by Old Jalampan. I'm not gonna- oh, fuck it, I can't. Alright, so... Huh. This is a really nice looking test chamber. Got a nice aesthetic to it. It's not quite broken, but it's obviously overgrown, if that makes any sense. So let's see here. Temporarily reverse the funnel direction. Simple tool enough. How long does that last? Actually, a fairly long while. Might be usable. Uh, we have... Blue gel, a cube. Alright. Also, oh, a really long time, actually. It just ran out. Then we have... What is this over here? We've got a button that will eventually... Oh, no, there it is. Flips to allow me to put something in here. Probably going to be the cube via that button and that panel eventually, but I have to get to the cube first. So I assume I can deactivate the deadly field in there if I can get through here. Yeah, there's a button on the other side, but I can't get to it as... Ah, there we go. Okay, so immediately thoughts about the test chamber. It has a lot of tools. You just got to use them in the right order, but really I think the strongest point of this one is that it looks really, really nice. I mean, the test chamber just has a really good appearance to it. It's quite surprising, actually. There we go. I should just be able to press the button and travel through here to be able to get to the proper switch, since that lasts a really long time, as we've already established. And once I press that button, I should be able to go through the deadly field area over there. Oh, nice. And that is a permanently activated button, looks like, which is good, because if this was timed, that would be a bit of a pain in the ass. So... Oh, man. I'm, I'm having a little bit of trouble focusing today. I'm... I've actually been playing Smite a lot. Like, a hell of a lot. Like, do you know Smite? The game, at all. Maybe not. If you do, then you'll sort of know what I'm talking about when I say that I... Just like, it's so easy to just queue up for one more game. You know that feeling? Like just the, I, I'm just going to do one more and then I'm gonna go off and record perpetual testing. I said that about two and a half hours ago. I don't think I was supposed to be able to make that jump for the record. Um, though maybe I was, who knows. Ah, good. Activates what? Allows me to get in here? Ah, oh, fantastic. Maybe I was supposed to make that jump, who knows? Yeah, I get a couple of panels, great. Wonderful, what the hell am I supposed to do with this? I mean, I can... sort of see across, but I'd have to accelerate myself accordingly. Is there anything else I can see from here? There, oh, there's something up there. What is that? Oh, it's activated by the button, that's no use to me at all. What if... I mean, there's got to be a way for me to get across quickly enough, doesn't there? Hmm. Those are deactivated now, so that helps out a little bit. Um, I also... I'm having a bit of trouble getting out of this area. Maybe I'm supposed to go back and get the excursion funnel now. That actually sounds pretty likely. I'm going to go see about doing that. But Smite, to explain a little bit of why I'm so infatuated with it is a third-person multiplayer online battle arena, if you want to call it that, or just a MOBA or League of Legends Dota-style game. And it's a lot of fun. And your characters are all gods from mythologies around the world, be it Greco-Roman, or if you want some Japanese gods, they got, or wait, are they Japanese? Yeah, there's something like that. Or gods, I think they're Hindu gods. Uh, are also in there. We got Norse gods, all sorts of folks duking it out. We've got Bounce Gel. There we go. No, that's activated by the cube. Maybe I need to get that to be able to progress. That actually seems likely that I would need to get Bounce Gel to progress here, because I would need to bounce over, but I wouldn't be able to carry it into this room, so that kind of puts a damper on that idea, doesn't it? Hmm. There's a button over there, so I know I'm supposed to activate it. 
I mean, is there anywhere for me to get momentum? Maybe? Oh, yeah, there's... It's right here. How, do, how would I have forgotten about this? Anyway, perfect. That flips a panel, which allows me to fling myself again in the same style I just did, and get to whatever is hiding back in that top area there. Holy crap, okay. I mean, it's named the blue stuff, and there's some bounce gel. Well, what? Oh, it's got a, it's got a emancipation grid on the floor to stop this sort of thing. Let me see if I can toss it up on that seat to the left. One, up, nope, damn it. All right, I did quick save there just in case I screw this up. Hup, nope, damn it. All right, so maybe I'm not supposed to do this. That actually seems pretty likely that I'm not supposed to. Ah, right, because I'm supposed to use the bounce gel and get the pull funnel working. No, I don't want to be in here yet. Great, let's travel back across with this. No, wait, that's not right either. That's how I'm supposed to get back across, but the cube itself has to get across on its own. How? I have to get it out of here, otherwise I'm just traveling backwards, because there's an emancipation grid that I'm going to have to get past in a little while here. Maybe I am supposed to toss it? It seems possible. I mean, it's definitely a physically possible toss. It's just a matter of landing it. Hup, the no. Oh, man. My throwing skills are vastly, vastly inferior to what they need to be to successfully make this toss. Oh, my God. Why? There we go. Okay, it's gone. Time to go back across, find that cube, get out of this test chamber. Brilliant, wonderful, don't drop here, that's deadly. Now, to get- oh, I can just take this back across. I could have done that with the cube, too. I'm not a clever man. Alright. <laughs> just like, let me just practice tossing this cube across this platform here. But instead, I'm going to actually just ignore the fact that I could simply travel through the portal with it. Or through the area with the portal, you know what I mean. Okay, so, I'm going to have to flip that, hop down here, and immediately open that up and allow the cube through, through the use of a blue excursion funnel. How the hell am I supposed to get up there, though? It's going to be use of bounce gel somewhere around here. Anyway, not the point. point for now is just figuring out... Or, rather, completing what I knew I had to do next. So. Cube on button. Bounce gel now activated. Great! So we have bounce gel and what else? If anything. I mean, we have the ability to push the bounce gel into lots of places, so that might work. If I were able to get bounce gel here, that might be able to help, but there's really no place where I'd be able to send it off. So that hurts my chances of that a little bit. There's the room where we were, obviously. Alright. What is my play here? Oh, there it is. Great, I spotted it. Alright, so we're going to need to get this bounce gel over here. So we're just going to flip it over. And then once this has traveled far enough, we'll just let it fall. It coats this. Next time I take this, I'm going to be flung further than I was previously, and I'm going to make it to the exit without issue by bouncing here. Great! Alright, that's actually not that bad a test chamber. I had a couple of puzzles, I overcomplicated some stuff. Very solid, had a very nice look to it though. One of the things that you need to remember about test chamber design is that the visual appeal is one of the things that can make it popular. I don't know why the map was called the blue stuff, Perhaps because the goal of the map was getting the repulsion gel active, so you would be able to get to the exit. That would probably make sense. Oh man, that guy's avatar is creeping me out a bit. Whew. Alright. Anyway, on to the next test chamber. Welcome back, ladies and gentlemen, to PA's Perpetual Testing again. Today, we are continuing our adventures in the realm of portal test chambers by looking at gel surface viscosity by Solid Jim where I am assuming 
I'm going to have to keep a drop of bounce gel active long enough. What did that deactivate? Oh, it activated an emancipation grid. Okay. Okay, what I'm going to have to do... Hmm. I'm going to have to get that bounce gel over here. There's no question about that. Maybe I should just start it traveling first, so... It's now going to be flying back and forth between these two portals. Place my blue portal over there. Now it's traveling back and forth between these two. Hop through while it's in the air so I don't disturb it. Great! Now... Activate this. Next time it flies through there, place my orange portal, hits that. Bounce gel is officially keeping that cube off the area. Great. All right. First test chamber done. Same sort of theory for this one. But to wait, what? What is going on here? I'm afraid I'm not particularly familiar with whatever this test is trying to accomplish. Yeah, it's just not working. It's not getting onto the cube. Alright, I'm going to see you all when I figure this out. 20 minutes and a walkthrough video later, I've discovered that this is bullshit. You're ki I had no idea that this was possible. This... What the fuck, Jim? Apparently, if you stand close enough to gel, when it comes out of a portal, it bumps the gel. As follows. Oh, come on. Do the trick. I saw you do it for Jim. Why not? Why won't you do it for me? There! Did you see? It moved! If you bump into it, it flies! How the shit... Is that a thing? You can bump into gel to make it move. Who the hell figured that out? Whoa, okay. No, not what I wanted to do. Okay, so this is going to take a couple of tries to replicate, but shit, Jim, seriously? Look at that. Oh, don't tell me that didn't land it. Oh, fuck everything. But yeah, so ability to bump gel. Unknown to this point, now never gonna forget it. Damn it, this is finicky. Oh, fucking finally. Thank you. Alright, last test chamber. Let's see. What am I supposed to do here, huh? Alright, I've got a hard light bridge. I've got gel. Maybe this is the same thing I was supposed to do with, uh... I remember, there was a test like this in the recent past. Oh, no, wait, no, that doesn't work at all. Never mind. I mean... I can send gel flying out. There's no problem there. What if I replace my orange portal right after it goes through? I mean, that gets gel on the platform, to be sure, but there's nothing on the cube. It's so far up. How could it be? And why is this here? Is there... Why is there a third portable surface here? I just... Oh boy, I have a feeling I'm in trouble. I have a feeling I'm in a lot of trouble. I mean, I can stop the gel from coming out. Just... Can I bump it again? Is that what I'm supposed to do? I'm supposed to bump it from here? Come on. This is the most useless shit ever. Am I supposed to, like, bisect the gel with a bridge and half of it goes on there or something? I have no idea. Cause I'm pretty sure- okay... Okay... Was this intended? 
Is this intended? I have a feeling this is the solution, but I have a feeling it's also bullshit. <laughs> what? How the fuck? Oh boy, that is special. And it drops. You are fucking kidding me. How is that supposed to work? How in the hell does that even remotely work? That sh oh fuck. Well, I learned something today. I learned a couple of things today. Most of them are bugs with the physics engine that are a bit weird. Oh shit. At least the first test chamber was straightforward, but most of this feels like a bit of a gimmick or teaching of a gimmick. So that if I ever encounter something like this in the future, I'm gonna be able to use it. I swear to god, if one of these maps comes up and requires bunny hopping, I'm fucking out. That's it. I'm done. Because <laughs> there is no way I can get that trick successfully on a regular basis. I just, I can't. I didn't play any of the games that required it as a kid. I don't have the technical prowess to be able to jump multiple times with precision. Oh no, it's just, it's beyond me. This map, too, was beyond me. The second chamber, there was no fucking way. The third chamber, I got by accident. It's like... The test chamber is more like a testing grounds for the tools you learn in the intro video. In this case, the intro video is the spoiler video that shows you the answers. Oh my god. Alright, well, we learned something new today. And we're going to be able to do more with it in the future. So, until next time, this has been PA. I'll see you to on tomorrow's episode of PA's Perpetual Town. Oh my fucking god. <laughs>